Welcome back to another video. My name's Dylan. I'm Chase. I'm Oliver. And together, we're Project Today. Today's video is a big one, which we say for every video. But every today, video we are going one. to be building the kitchen. This is the last time you are going to see the truck looking as empty as it does. We are building a big L-shaped kitchen right here. Right where we're sitting is going to be our stove. There's going to be a fridge. There's going to be a sink. All kinds of really awesome stuff that we're going to start building today. And we're gonna start building our table to our couch bed back here as well. So we're gonna glue some pieces of makeshift butcher block that we're gonna make ourselves and create a DIY swivel arm that is gonna be super cheap and homemade. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to do that. So let's get started. Ah, welcome to my garage. It's slightly raining outside. So I have this big piece of cardboard gonna work in here for now. I have a ton of plumbing pipe here. You may ask why? Why all this different random pieces of plumbing? Well, let me tell you, a swivel table is something we want in the van, but online, they're a few hundred dollars. They're expensive. There's some videos online of people creating their own out of plumbing pipe. So we're gonna try to do that today. This is pretty fun. It's like, I feel like I'm building a Lego or something. I love Lego. And there we have it. Here's our simple, simple design for our swivel table. See, it, it swivels. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to maybe grab a piece of wood just to test this with. Seems like it would work. Be right back. This will now go here. This thing can swivel in two different ways. So one, the table, the whole thing can swivel like that. And then two, this on its own can swivel as well. It's pretty sick. This was, you know, $40 maybe, and works really well. <laughs> happy with this, very happy with this. Now that that table arm is completed, I'm gonna start to build our table. Oh, I'm in your shot, you're in mine. Wow. Can you get out of my shot, please? Hey, I was here first. Can you get out of the my shot, The camera saw please? it, I was here first. Well, let's check the footage, check the footage. Okay, we bought a few of these kind of, I think they're like one by tens from Home Depot that we're gonna use for the table. We're gonna glue these together, then cut it to the perfect size. Stain it, it'll look very nice. This guy's in the background. <sighs> Sorry, sorry about him. Sorry. We'll cut that out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Our table in the truck is going to be 31 by 35 inches, exactly. And it's made up of these three pieces right now, three separate pieces. So I need to glue these all together so they become one large piece, and then I'm gonna cut it exactly to size. That's the plan. I'm going to cut this piece and then glue them. say from this and the last few projects I love working with wood I realized something yesterday you know how all contractors construction workers you see a lot of people will have just a pencil behind their ear well I did that yesterday and it was a game changer having easy access to a pencil especially when working with wood where you just need to draw little lines all the time to see where you're gonna cut so nice to have. So because of that, I thought, what other efficiencies could I bring into my daily life out here working on the van? For one, safety glasses are needed a lot. So these safety glasses sit perfectly just right around my neck. They don't bother me at all, they feel fine. They sit right there perfectly. So safety glasses, pencil. And then in my pocket, yesterday I carried around a tape measure, which is needed so often as well. We only have two tape measures, and as you know, there are three Project Today boys. So don't tell Oliver and Chase that I have stolen one and I keep it in my pocket. I also have some, whoa, whoa. I also have some ear protection in my pocket. And then finally, why only have one pencil when you have two ears? 
two pencils. Double the power. Okay, ready to get to work. Gosh, the thing fell off. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end today's project. Huh? You see what I did there? Like today's project? Oh, was there a project, we're a project today? today? Wow. Of, course. <laughs> of course. That was good. <laughs> Give yourself a pat on the back. So we're just gonna let this table sit for genuinely like a full day if possible. Yeah, let's do it. Might as well let and it we'll come back tomorrow. So there you go, that's your, that's your update, that's the end of the day, and we thought we'd end today with uh, some words of wisdom, a little motivational speech. Ollie? Wow, you really put me on the spot there. <laughs> Did you not Progress prepare? towards your goals, little by little, every single day. See, I knew, I knew you'd get it. There, there you go. go, see you tomorrow. One thing that doesn't really get talked about in a lot of our videos is the planning that goes on behind the scenes in order to make everything happen. I mean, for example, these couches that I'm right next to took you know, a few hours of planning, of measuring how we're gonna do things, how big we want things to be. It's so many little decisions. So for example, for this kitchen, right? I, we're dividing the kitchen into two parts. There's gonna be one part that has the fridge and the sink and the area below the sink. And then another part that will have the propane tank and the oven. First, I'm planning out and building the fridge cabinet. And here you can see, this is just a little behind the scenes of how this all works, how this all gets done. We just have a few diagrams here. I mean, I, I should probably do this on Google SketchUp or something, but I don't. This is really what helps me keep it all together in my mind so that then I can translate this into something real. And I have our cut sheet here for the two by fours that we're gonna cut for the frame. Let's go cut them right now. All right, so I came over to help Dill make this kitchen countertop and he asked me to uh, use the tray toolkit. Dylan and Oliver love the tray toolkit and true. I've actually never used it. I've, You've never used it? I have never trayed. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you have to do it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How's your time, Chase? I'm hearing that this is going to be a life-changing experience. Ah, it will be, it will be. <laughs> All right, teach me how to do it, teach me hey, how to do it. Hey, this is not a sponsored video. Just uh, People in the comments on our TikTok say, are you sponsored by Craig? No, we just really love Craig. This thing is so good. It's so great. It works very well to create pocket holes. I got this. You've got it. I got this. Time to tread. Did I did I do it, Dill? That's good. I have Craig. Yes, Craig. <laughs> Boom. Woo! Life changing, huh? <laughs> Dylan, I have craved. Thank you. you. <laughs> they look great. Well done. Are you proud of me? For your first time, they look good. By the way, if anybody out there wants to try out this life-changing tray toolkit, we have a link to it in the description down below, along with all of the other tools, resources, and materials that we use. So go and check that out before you drop this video. How's your countertop coming? It's going well. I have two more legs to put in and then we're done. Chase, wanna put this in the truck? Yeah, okay. dude, it's ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. I keep having these little free cuts because I intentionally left one leg off and I keep thinking it's the wrong one. I just had a little moment right there. I was like, oh no, I did the wrong one. <laughs> but it's right. Okay, you may be wondering, why are there five legs on this frame and not six? Why is there not one in this corner? Well, two reasons. One, I just think it looks kind of funny and cool for some reason to have five and not six. Just <laughs> And number two, the more important reason is that our fridge 
needs to be ventilated. The fridge, cold air comes in, and then the compressor of the refrigerator takes that cold air, makes the inside cold, and then it releases hot air. And so hot air will be coming out around this area of the top of our fridge, since the fridge is going right here. So we need a way to vent that air. We're going to do a little vent on the side up here. So cold air should come in under the fridge and then go to the compressor. Hot air should be go through this vent on the side, right where this 2x4 is not because there's no leg there. And then the hot air will be extracted out of the van by our roof vent fans. That's the plan so that our fridge doesn't take as much electricity and has a longer lifespan. That's why we only have five legs. Okay, I'm gonna cut a few pieces of plywood for this frame. Let's do that now. Okay. Closing down the truck for the night. It was a good day. Got that kitchen frame built. Got a few pieces of plywood cut. Tomorrow we'll glue and screw it all together and then test the fridge. We'll see if the fridge fits, if it works, how it looks, and then hopefully finish that whole cabinet. See you tomorrow. It's a new day. We don't have a whole bunch of time today to work, but we're still gonna get some stuff done. I'm gonna start with cutting our table to fit into this groove in our couch bed. And then I'm gonna take the plywood that I cut last night and glue it onto the first part of our frame. The ultimate weight system. <laughs> when you don't have clamps that work. <laughs> What do you think, Chase? What do you think about my clamp system? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Casey, oh what gosh. do you think? If the dog knocks it over, <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. Aw, Casey gotta be in the shot and I don't? What the heck? That's not fair. All right, let's get back to work on this table. Our table, basically, it needs to be exactly pretty much 36 inches. So we're going to cut a little bit off of one side and then cut to size on the other side. Make it nice and square and uh, yeah, and then stain it up and it'll be good to go. Sawdust everywhere. <coughs> it's been 30 minutes and somehow my weight system here stayed up. Let's go. The floor of the kitchen cabinet is being glued right now. Just gonna wait for this to dry, then we'll put it in the truck, see if it fits. Okay, so we didn't actually get to put the frame inside of the truck yesterday because by the time everything was done gluing, by the time our plywood was onto the side of our frame, we actually had to pack up the entire truck for our first ever road trip. Dylan left us for a little bit, but Ollie and I got to drive from Colorado down here to Phoenix, Arizona. We stopped in St. George, Utah. We did some hikes for a day. It was fun. a really, really fun trip. If you want to check it out, make sure you watch that video. There'll be a link to it in the top right-hand corner of your screen right now. We're in Arizona now, and yesterday we built the second frame for our kitchen. The frame where the oven and the propane tank are going to go. Today we're gonna to stay in our table, we're gonna create a frame around our fridge, and we're gonna create double doors that open up for our cabinet underneath our sink. Lots to do, let's get to work. Yeah, we might actually be able to finish everything today. That would be pretty nice. <laughs> Maybe. I think we can. Okay, so 
To stain the wood is a three-step process. First, we're gonna start with pre-stained wood conditioner and put that on for about five to 10 minutes, let it dry and then wipe it all off. Then it's time to put the actual stain on and we went with this natural wood finish to kind of keep it nice and light because we wanna keep it light in the van, make it look more open. And this we'll put on and leave for about 15 minutes. We're just gonna watch it and see how we like it. The longer we leave it, the darker it is. And then repeat the process if we wanna stain it more. But that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, that was 10 minutes. Now we're gonna just wipe off any excess, any excess wood conditioner that's on here and then stain it, super easy. All right, stains on. Now we do 15 minutes on the timer. I cut this piece out yesterday to fit around the fridge, and it fits so well. Oh, boom. Look at that. Really nice. I'm gonna glue this, and then work on some doors. Now that this piece is glued, you're gonna put the fridge back in. Just make sure it fits and looks nice. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at that. That is fine. Yeah, that's in there, nice. <laughs> Boom. Hello, welcome to the inside of the kitchen. That's where I am right now. What we've been working on for the past, I don't know, half hour, is the two swinging doors that are going to be going right here because where my head is, is the sink, and then this is just gonna be two opening doors. So we've been cutting those, getting them fitted for this right here. Okay, uh... I'm gonna put these here. Hey, hey you, stay in there. You're, okay, you can come out. Okay, okay, you can come out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Man, getting a little hot in there. Here are the hinges. This should be easy. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Famous last words, but. From putting up this first door, I learned a few things. Since I'm the only one working on this right now, it was kind of hard to hold this in place while I screwed it into the wall because it kind of needs to be in an exact correct spot. So I put just little supports on the ground and then that is the height that I want it exactly. That allowed me to then just hold this in place just where I wanted without having to worry about it falling downward. That helped a lot. I'm gonna do hinge number two or door number two, hinge number three and four. Ta-da! Those two doors are completed and they work really well. Super happy with them. It's cool to just think, you know, in just a short period. I'll be opening these doors, you know, grabbing water from in here, and this space will be usable. I think I did a pretty good job with these doors, but they are definitely not perfect. Each little project has its own kind of flaw. It's something that didn't work out exactly right. And you can see when I close this, there's this space here, <laughs> but it doesn't go all the way down. So these doors aren't exactly straight. They're not perfectly straight, but I think it's okay. We'll cover them with trim later to make it look more straight. You know, I care more about the functionality and later I think we can make it look good. And every project will have its flaws, as I said. This is this project's little flaw. We just finished the door. And I gotta say, it is so exciting. Ooh, that's loud. That's nice and squeaky. But now it's time to lift this entire kitchen frame and actually put it inside the truck for the first time. I'm so excited, let's go! Ready? Yeah, let's do it. One, three. One, two, three. It's lighter with three. I know, so much lighter. <laughs> <laughs> the 
from the countertop. Hello. <laughs> Guys, look, it's a kitchen. You have a sink here, then there's a fridge here, and you open it up, and then you just throw it here, and you like chop, and you like make a sandwich. Stove right here. Yeah, it's look, like come pretend you're a chef. Feed me. Feed me. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a wrap on the frame of our kitchen. It's done. We Woo! have an outline. We have an outline. We have our stove right here where I'm sitting, and our fridge, and sink, and cabinets, and doors that open. So exciting. I, I am so pumped, especially for this stove area right here. We have such an awesome Camp Chef oven, which ha has an oven and a stove in it, which I'm so excited to install, and that'll be coming very soon in the next part of this video. And we have a puppy. Woo! Hi, Bela. Say Woo! hi. <laughs> So yeah, this is the end of part one, and in part two we are going to actually finish the kitchen. We are going to get a stove slash oven fully installed, our fridge fully installed. We're gonna screw this in. We're going to get our table onto our swivel arm and get that fully installed. We're gonna get countertops on top. I just can't wait. It's gonna be a lot of really fun projects. They're going to make the van like really start to feel like home. I know we say it all the time. All the time. But it's gonna start to feel real once this kitchen is finished in part two. So if you want to stay around and see part two, subscribe to the channel because that's the best way you can watch all of our future videos and keep up with this project and see how the progress comes along. Subscribe down below. Also leave a comment and give a like to the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in a few days with part two. Woo! Woo!